the sandhill crane is one of 15 species of cranes worldwide, and there are several different populations within the United States. There's lots of cranes that winter right here in Indiana. They'll be here all winter. The cranes that come through Jasper Pulaski, you know, everybody wants to know why they come here. And it just basically has to do with the range that the greater Sandhill Crane occupies and the fact that we were in the right place at the right time. This property started in 1929 and the field of wildlife management was beginning to understand more what wildlife needed in order to survive. And one of the key elements was habitat. the 1800s into the night well into the 1900s and continuing today we're still losing habitat but we were able to protect key habitat features uh, in terms of the sandhill cranes those were wetland areas as we protected more habitat that small number of cranes in the core nesting area in Wisconsin began to increase and then re-pioneered new areas. So we went from in the 1930s, 40s to uh, maybe just 300 nesting pairs of cranes to almost 100,000 in this population now. As the Sandhill Crane population began to repopulate and increase, the cranes that use this area continued to use it. And I had mentioned that Wisconsin was the core nesting area. And if you were to put your finger in central Wisconsin and a finger on your other hand in central Florida, which is where the majority roosted uh, or spent the winter in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and even into the 80s, Jasper Pulaski would be right underneath that line. So the majority nested in Wisconsin, migrated to Florida, so they came through here in the fall, and to a lesser extent, they also came through here in the spring. The peak has moved from mid-October to late November, early December. Based on the fact that they roost in our wetland areas at night, we can use several observers and count the cranes as they fly out in the morning. The count was 19,980, just shy of 20,000. So we're right, that could be a typical peak. We've had peaks uh, at 35,000. feature that they've just developed on their own is their own behavior um, is they'll land, a large number will land in this field, which actually was originally developed for Canada geese, but the cranes far outnumber the Canada geese now. One of the things that makes them so interesting to people is they're a bird that flocks together uh, they're easily seen, they make a lot of noise, they have a lot of interesting uh, behaviors, particularly their courtship ritual. So they're, they're just attractive to people because you can see such great numbers. Of them. 